I'm now going to hand the floor over to the Honourable Manlio Di Stefano. Thank you very much for joining us. The, the floor is now yours. Thank you so much for organizing this, uh, this event. I will really start thanking and greeting uh, Ambassador uh, Feroci uh, for the introduction and for all the passion that he puts on organizing this uh, very important uh, events. And I will also uh, greet Ambassador uh, Benassi, with whom I always uh, had the chance to, to, to cooperate, and also uh, Mr. Jonathan Black uh, for the, the other pr perspective it will bring to the discussion that is uh, our uh, uh, friend uh, of the uh, UK. Next year, I will really start from this, that next year, uh, Italy and UK will have the responsibility to, to lead the multilateral uh, efforts uh, uh, as presidencies respectively of the G20 and the G7, and also the co-chairing of the COP26. In such a really fragmented international system, I think that multilateral uh, uh, fora, such as the G7 and the G20, have a real duty that is to speak with a single voice when it comes to addressing the most urgent global challenges. With the UK hosting the G7 and focusing on uh, priorities such as the global health, climate and trade, I note that they are perfectly in line with our G20 presidency agenda that is centered around the so-called 3P, people, planet and prosperity. I am therefore sure that we will be able to maximize and deepen the synergies between our two presidencies in such a delicate year as the next one. As we all know, uh, 2021 will be the key year in the fight against climate change, and Italy truly intends to work strenuously to ensure the success of the negotiation processes. The realization will require the centrality of the team of climate action with an ambitious and holistic vision that uh, highlights the linkages between the issues of climate change and the energy transition with a view to a progressive reduction of global emissions in order to achieve the objectives of the Paris Agreement. Uh, with this in mind, uh, the organization of the working groups of the G20 presidency will reflect the close relationship between climate and energy. With the climate energy nexus as our infrastructure, we plan on addressing a series of priorities which will be tackled jointly by the Climate Sustainability Working Group and the Energy Transition Working Group, such as sustainable recovery and technological opportunities, sustainable and smart uh, cities, green finance, and uh, stimuli for sustainable recovery. In our view, a sustainable recovery must aim at structural actions that facilitate the acceleration of the energy transition, green economy and environmental sustainability, making use not only of national public resources, but also the support of global financial flows that should progressively align in support of the objectives of the Paris Agreement. I truly agree with the Ambassador Feroci when he said that it's very important to see what's going to be the uh, action taken by the new presidency in the United States uh, according to the Paris Agreement. It's going to be a key factor in the next year too. The elaboration and implementation of ambitious national climate uh, commitments in the short term and uh, the successful transition to climate neutrality in the long term will need to be answered in concrete instruments for reducing emissions, especially in the sectors most responsible for emissions of, grouse, of greenhouse uh, gases. Concerning the theme of sustainable and smart cities, we must not forget that G20 countries are jointly responsible for 80% of global emissions and 85% of global GDP. As such, we represent the priority forum for initiating enhanced cooperation to build a coordinated path enabling to recovery of the global economy, guaranteeing the diffusion of clean energy and sustainability, especially in the metropolitan re realities, 
destinated to host increasing shares of the world population. We will hence pay special attention to the management of urban agglomerations, especially in highly urbanized contexts. On the one hand, through the use of nature-based solutions that acts as a measure of both, of both adaptation and mitigation, and on the other, uh, through the electrification of the consumption, the digitalization of uh, energy systems, so to reach greater efficiency and to spread uh, the spread of renewables. The people-centered approach of the Italian G20 will be far enfolded in the energy track as we will focus on uh, effective ways to eradicate energy poverty and reach universal energy access. Lastly, I would like to focus on the role of climate finance, which is central to ensuring the acceleration of the energy transition and the achievement of an emission path compatible with maintaining the global average temperature within, within uh, 1.5 uh, uh, Celsius centigrade. The vast construction site opened by the post-COVID-19 reconstruction offers an unprecedented opportunity to aim at the reorientation of global financial flows in the direction of carbon neutrality, facilitating the gradual realignment of investments, portfolios on the basis of sustainability criteria and the promotion of renewable energy, as suggested also by the emerging narrative about the need for build back better. We must not forget that the transition to a climate neutral, neutral sustainable economy has all the potential to foster employment and the growth. In fact, the goal of climate neutrality by 2050, accompanied by a solid framework of policies, ensures an enabling environment for sound and long-term investments by companies, an essential precondition for green growth and green job creation. In view of the G7 and G20 and COP26, there is a common element that will be crucial, uh, and that, that is the need to continue to build international momentum on tackling climate change. This is why I'm glad of the effort of our diplomatic network in partnership with the, the UK in promoting a wide series of joint initiatives aimed at increasing climate ambition in third countries in view of the renewal of the NDCs for a green and inclusive recovery. Global dynamics are changing and Italy and the UK have formed a strong partnership, a concrete example of a strategic cooperation in the fight against climate change, which I'm sure will grow stronger as we approach next year's important events. I really thank you for the uh, occasion to talk with you about this important topic and assure that the debate will bring very important uh, uh, issues to tackle together and answers to the global question about the climate change. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Honorable Di Stefano. Um, it was fantastic to hear the priorities that you've set out there so far. Um, and thank you again for joining us for this event. Um, 